Last time we started in Jube Life, we had a green shirt. We went through Eternal Force. We arrived in Eternity. We dug for treasure. We beat Badoo and we defeated Cody. What is up, people? Welcome to episode five of Pokemon Platinum. It's Platinum. With you today, with me today, is nobody. Um, I figured that I would do an episode without Adam, try to figure out um, just a little bit of stuff while. I have some free time right now. Goodness gracious me. Um, <clears throat> Adam does not know that I'm doing this. I know that we talked about some, doing something along these lines. I meant to um, look at the honey trees as of like whenever the last time was that I played. I didn't rip. So now I got to go through and um, ensure that... That... Uh, I can get some honey trees. There's a good chance that we aren't going to be able to find that APOM anytime soon, which is going to really stink. I'm probably going to have to do a couple of uh, eps off camera just because. Oh my god. Just because it'll be. That's not an easy Pokemon to find. And, uh. Yeah, it's just not going to be fun. Um, fortunately, before. Uh, yeah, I think I was talking with Adam about how. We're forced to take um, a particular ramp. Actually, let me see real quick if I have a repel. Oh, makes it nice and easy. Or at least easier. Um, I know there is a point in this, um, in Eterna City, where you are eventually forced to go down the bike path. I do not believe that it is after the gym which is when we're allowed to use cut. So I know that we were talking about me getting Rotom. I do know that I will need cut for that. So that's not bad in my opinion. Um, oof, what else? Let me think. So Rotom, Scyther's a little bit later in the game. Fortunately, we're gonna get Kranidos here shortly. I'm planning on right now lathering up some trees and heading back to um, Orberg. Ugh. It just sounds dirty, Orba, to um, load them up. All right, nice. So hopefully, can you look away, please? Please, please, pretty please. Oh, get gotten, you dumb broad. Okay. Father the Bark, yes, sir. -y. All right, that's one. I know I have like 10 more honeys or so. So we'll be able to lather them all up, make it all nice and... That's two. No, oh. no, thank you. Damn, I wish that speed up button was any good. Fortunately, it's not. Whatever, Dismumi's bad anyway. Oh, let's check our step counter. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, we're almost at, we're almost at as many steps as Adam had on his pedometer the other day. Good for us. We're really putting in the workout. Man, that's crazy that Adam had more steps on his pedometer. And we've been to like three or four cities already. It's crazy. That is crazy. All right, but this is the third tree. I'm trying to think. I don't think it's going to be easy getting to Orberg. But at the very least, it's not going to take... It's not going to take 40 minutes. I mean, we're already, we're already getting a lot of done. It's four minutes in. So I, I expect this to be a shorter than most episode. Maybe I'll make it like a an epi and a half with uh whatever happens who knows who knows nobody does i just got to get back to orberg so that i can get my kranidos now kranidos is one of my favorite pokemon of this generation and that's why i'm that's why i'm bringing him on the squad he he just he just hits like a truck he has like the highest attack stat of anything that came out, you know, this this early. Like he was, as of this generation, I believe he was the the highest attack powered mon in the game. And I know that they've only released like two or three things that are even comparable now, which are like Mega Mewtwo X and uh, Mega Heracross is the other. So, so that's all really cool stuff. Now, now something that I'm into. Um, they not too long ago uh, were did uh, the E3, I think, or it was like a Pokemon Direct, where they, um, 
Yeah, there we go. Um, where they talked about uh, the new Pokemon games that are going to be coming out. Uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. For anyone who happens to have played um, the first or the, the original Sun or Moon. Those games were a lot of fun. They were definitely... Oh, goodness. Is my thing set to go really quick? All right, either way. The Sun and Moon were two really good games. It was just like the the Pokemon franchise didn't really need invigorating, but that's kind of what it felt like they did. when uh, Up until Gen 4, Pokemon just felt like... Personally, I think Pokemon peaked at Gen 4 because every generation got better up until that point. Gen 1 was a uh, you know classic. Gen 2 is one of my favorites to play. And that's why I'm so ecstatic that they're uh, putting gold and silver on the virtual console. I will definitely drop 20 bucks to get those two games because those are some of the best games I've ever played. And I love just replaying the old ones. I like put, giving myself challenges. I usually only run two or three Pokemon when I play them nowadays just because it's, it's gotten a lot easier. Usually I always pack a Scyther. That's pretty much all I know for sure. But, yeah. Um, third gen... Everybody, we've all talked about, um, do I not have, did I not bring the fossil up? I must not have brought the fossil up. We're going to go back underground real quick to see if I, I guess, no, I'm thinking about it. I guess I, um, I guess I raged and, uh, wanted to not be down underground anymore to end the episode off. Because we all wanted that shit to end. Mm. Anyway, third gen, everyone... I don't think there was ever a better set of uh, starter Pokemon than third gen. I know everybody was a fan. I personally loved... There it is. That's what I need. We'll take these things too. Okay. We are good down here. Let's go up. Yes, please. Let's go between the starters, just the plot. It was like newer. They had fun stuff like the Battle Frontier and Emerald. Uh, just like the, the whole game just felt so good. That, that was like one of the better generations of like like Pokemon that they introduced. Like just thinking about like how just intricate the designs were starting to get and how like fun the game was. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, and then fourth gen came out and this is by far this game, this generation rather, is my favorite by far just because it's just so fun. It's just so new. Everything's so nice. The graphics are great. It might be slow right now because, you know, bad bad emulator, whatever. But now we got to come up with a name real quick for this Cranidos. So, so we'll, hmm. we're going to probably name him something stupid for right now because... I need Adam to give me those like first couple ideas before I finally get them, get them going. But we're gonna call him just because I I call a lot of stuff this right now. No, I hope this fits. No, it won't. Dang. So I guess we are gonna go. We're gonna go with Gurjiminy. Gurjiminy. I was going to name him. Or Jiminy. I was going to try to name him Tragic Bronson. Shout out Shaquille O'Neal. But did not have enough characters for that. So he's he's at a great level. Level 20. That's exactly where we want him to be at this point. Impish. I'm pretty sure that's plus attack nature. So this guy is all... like Look, you see that 58 attack stat? Nobody's even close to that in any stat. I guess speed for, from Inferno. Gurjiminy's about to hit everybody hard. Ooh, my goodness. Let's see. I think I got Rock Tomb. He can definitely take this. All right, hold on. Everything's running too quick. Give me one sec. There we go. All right. I don't know why that wasn't a thing. Rock Tomb. Let's put that over. Hmm. Am I going to be living long enough? Let's think. Fighting Gym, terrible. Water Gym, Ghost Gym. Holy cow, Gurjiminy has some bad matchups coming up. 
we are going to get rid of Scary Face because Focus Energy might come in handy to help us hit even harder, especially in this gen when everything uh, does double damage when it crits instead of uh, one and a half as the new games have. Anything else I can do for him? I don't think so. I think we're good to put him in the front and uh, put Shio Dude back in the back. And Gurjiminy is ready to go. Ready to put in that work. Thank goodness. Ooh, man, yeah, this is definitely... I think this will be the first half of a, of a Super Pack episode. Hopefully, by the time tomorrow rolls around, because uh, six hours from now, it's going to be a little too long for me. I'm going to definitely be in bed by then, because that's, what, three in the morning? Yeah, that's not, that's not going to fly. So I'm going to have to definitely come back tomorrow. Hopefully I don't forget. I'm going to have to set, set, a, set an alarm for myself right now. Because I always seem to forget. I know I did. That's why uh, this hasn't been done already. I should have had this done half a week ago, but I forgot to uh, check to see whether or not the honey trees were shaken. Kind of kind of glad that I didn't just because like yeah, I was tired, whatever. It was a Friday. Who cares? Nobody cares. Not a single person cares. That's fine, because now we're back on track. Just got to get back to Flow Aroma. And then we're going to be in a good spot, because we got all three of our uh, honey trees right there. And it'll be perfect for when we come back tomorrow and we have a look. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is why I like to just skip battles. This is why repels are necessary. Ooh. I'm going to have to buy... A lot more than I have now. Oh, I paused it somehow. We're back. We are back. We weren't gone for long. A Zubat. I'm trying to think. I think... Hmm. I don't know. About daytime and nighttime for catching the rest of the Pokemon that we need. I think I saw that Scyther was a day, like an early morning Pokemon, which... <laughs> good luck getting me up that early. And good luck getting Adam up that early either, if he doesn't have to work. Um, so, no, there's no way that there's a new poke at chat. So Gen 4, between DPP, which is what we're playing right now, and Heart Gold, Soul Silver, they were just bangers. They were just spitting out bangers. Game Freak knew what we wanted, and they were delivering. And that's why I think they were the best gens. I thought that there was no higher peak, because they'd only improved up until that point. Gen 5 came out. Black, white, black, white, two. Black, two, white, two, rather. And the games were good. I, I never disliked the games. I thought they had a really high difficulty curve. I never felt that way really about any other Pokemon game. I don't know why I clicked fight for this one. I don't know what makes this thing so special. I just, I, the, like, the graphics were nice because it was, like, a weird 3D. And, like, I remember the first time I went over the bridge in Castelia City, like, I just felt... Like, oh my goodness, it felt so good to watch. Just like this new like game happen and like and like and like and like and like just all the all the stuff that was happening in the game, like just like different angles of you walking and just I don't even I can't even put it into better words than how I've already said and like over and over can't even do it that's how nice it was i couldn't even put it into words but it was just it was just new but the pokemon were just kind of eh, and like the games just took so long to beat because you had to you had to grind there was no getting around that it just was just hard to play and then sixth gen came out and I and definitely made a new spring into the series. I think definitely a, an upgrade from Gen 5. Between So it was XY, which was super cool, all the new Pokemon. They made the game I don't know if, if I'd say easier. It is definitely a lot easier, but in my opinion, it was made more smooth. Like you don't have to waste all your time like forgetting what you're doing. There's not really a moment where you do something and then you have to just 
stop playing because you like lost a big battle that you can't really go back to easily. I just felt like it was it was a better, more fluid game. And then came Oras Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, which was a remake of an already amazing game duo, being Ruby and Sapphire. And holy cow, that game was awesome too. It was so cool to have like the new Mega Evolution mechanic. And oh my goodness, oh, we'll talk more about this when I get back in a sec. What's up, people? We finally found one. I got him weakened. We just gotta get him. We just gotta get him. Just a Pokeball. Come on. Come on, please. One. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I don't have any like better attacks to hit it with. So this is as low as it'll go. So I just have to I just have to hope. I only got so many. I only got eleven more. You it, baby. I'm out like a rose. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speed up button this part. And just throw balls and There it is, baby. A palm. Finally got him. Finally got him. Adam's gonna be happy. We've been I've been stalling on doing more episodes until because it takes six hours at least to find an apalm and it just took so long, but we got it. We got it. But now I gotta name it something. Unfortunately, I don't have a good name. I think Adam would. I'm trying to think if there's any old Apom names that we've had. But I can't think of any. So you know what? We're just going to stop right here. And we're going to get Adam back in. And we're going to have him name it for us, alright? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Adam. Hi, Keith. What should I nickname this Apom? Oh my god, we got an Apom. We got an Apom. Um... Um, you, uh, you didn't prepare me for this. I know. What? You weren't supposed what to know we about it anyway. It? What are we going to... This um, one's on you because you're the Apom god. Oh my god. Hold on. Yep. Let me Google. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you surprised me with this. I know. Um, is it male or female? It is female. Female. But okay. I don't particularly care if we keep, you know, names... I mean, we'll ask it what gender it identifies as. Well, which gender would you prefer it to identify as? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just asking, you know. <laughs> um, oh man, I'm not prepared for this. That's too bad. We're gonna sit here I as long as I need to. suggest boots a lot. Boots a lot. Just the word boots, and it's suggested a lot, like from Dora. Yeah. You know? Is that what you let's want? Let's go with that. Yeah, let's go with All right, that. Alright, we got it. Alrighty. Sweet. And now, last time I talked to you... Last time I talked to you... Yes. Um, I told you that I had a surprise. That yeah. was not actually it. Oh my god, there's more? There is more. Let's take a look at our team, shall we? Okay. Let's do it. Alright, as you can see, I got Gergimini. Suplex God. I got Gergimini okay. the Kranidas. <laughs> who's Impish, and I'm pretty sure that means plus attack. AKA, he hits like a um, fucking cannon. I can Google. Like, Sour? Actually... I actually don't know about that anymore. That might be plus defense, sadly. Anyway, we've got Conky Dong, of course. Like usual. We've got Shio Dude, who's still on the team. And then... Nice. I caught a Heracross before I found a Palm. He's timid though. That sucks. Oh. So I think we we might end up dumping his body. I was gonna but say we got the good. We got that nice suplex god. We do got that suplex um, god. What was I looking up? Impish. Yes. Impish is plus defense minus special attack. Okay, well that's fine. That's not too bad. For that's for uh, Kranidos, right? Yeah, that's not too bad. Timid, I know, is is plus speed minus attack, so that sucks. Yes, because Heracross would literally hit like a like a truck. But we do have a. Did you get that off of a hunting tree? I did. I'm kind of okay. glad that we're not well. going to use him just because he's really low leveled. Yeah, we've got good old Astonish. Is our best move on a pond. Astonish. Astonish. Good old Astonish. Well. That's okay, we'll get something better, don't worry. He's Any... gonna be the man. 
Yeah, you better be. Anyway, welcome everyone. This is the second half of episode five. We st I, st I So Adam, you don't know this, I don't think. You might, given the fact that I'm further into the game than I was before. Um, I spent some time getting Kranados revived since last time. And I did notice that because last time I'm pretty sure you were just like in the um, the cave system or whatever. I was indeed in the other walls. Thing. Yes, yes I was, yes. and and our call ended up dying. Yes, but we had some issues. Yes, we did some major issues, but I found I found the fossil almost immediately after we had to end the call, which was cool. The the bad oh, part about all this, I'm sorry. I guess that's good. It was I like, I guess yeah, that's good. You didn't have to like waste a lot of time. I didn't have to. Yeah, I didn't have to do too because much. Because it just lasted a little longer. Well, it was about the right length of an episode. That's true. Either way, true. either way, I got the fossil and I got the fuck out of the underground, and then I started this episode by myself. Uh huh. And uh, I went and got Karanidos, Gergimini, uh resurrected and. Don't turn. Oh, okay. We already battled him, I guess. I got Gurjimini back and then slathered up trees for about 3,000 steps. You see how my step counter is at 7,600? Yes. Almost 7,700? I'm almost certain that before the honey tree debacle, it was at 47. Oh my god. So it's taken a while to find <laughs> Apom and... Uh, all of the Cherubian combi that I've had to encounter. <laughs> but listen, it's going to be worth it. Let's hope. So for my monkey fact today, I was trying to figure out what kind of monkey Boots is from Dora. Uh -huh. But um, he doesn't appear to be any actual like real kind of monkey. I would wager imaginary. Well, yes. But... I was hoping he would be like based off of some sort of monkey, but I, I'm not seeing any. Goddamn Nicktoons. Which is disappointing. Nick Those jerks. Lying to get to young kids. Alrighty. But I guess I can um, give you a few facts about gorillas here, if per you're interested. Perfect. It sounds like you're reading so, these off somewhere. As opposed to in, um, your, in well, your big, beautiful brain. Yes. Yeah, because I wasn't really prepared for this. Hmm. Um, oh, interesting. Um, so, I did know this already, but there are only three species of gorillas. Actually, technically two, and then one subdivided. There's eastern and western. They all live in Africa, of course. Okay. And then there's... Um, most of the gorillas are lowland gorillas between western and eastern, but then in the eastern they're divided up between eastern lowland and eastern mountain gorillas, just depending on where they live, obviously. Now, why why is the word silverback? In my um, mind that's right just now. to describe a sexually mature male. Ah, you learn yes. something new about monkeys every recording. Exactly. <laughs> Um, let's see what else I can get here. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. I never knew this. Gorillas have unique nose prints, much like human fingerprints, which can be used to identify individuals. Very cool. Do you know, I think the only other animal that has, uh, you know, fingerprints like we do are koalas. Um... Maybe I don't know the answer to that. I'm. I would have no, that's, to assume that's me that, saying like, that's me saying like that they do, not me like questioning it. That's me saying that that's no, no, no. I know, but I'm curious as to whether that's actually the only other animal. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I feel only like, other for sure, but um, I don't know. I feel like some sort of monkey or primate would have fingerprints, but they might not be unique. I don't really know. I mean, to be fair. Fingerprinting and um, forensic science, such as that, and like DNA evidence, has been questioned in the past. Is not really, you know, completely reliable. So, True. do you want to hear another some fact? Is where it... What's that? Do you want to hear another fingerprint fact? Yes, I would. If you um, put 
pineapples on your fingerprints or really anywhere else on your body outside of like your stomach they will eat your like flesh away because of like a certain bacteria that is uh -huh. inside of pineapples so you can you can there was a there was a robber who like duct taped think it's like the yellow part you're talking about yes i'm not talking like the, sh the outside but i i did indeed right. hear about uh, a robber who like put gloves on with uh pineapple inside his fingers and then he didn't have fingerprints uh -huh. because it eats away at the flesh interesting yeah I wonder if that's like a painful process or not, because like you could also like burn your fingers to get rid of your fingerprints. Yeah, that seems like a little bit more painful. But, but yeah, that's why I'm questioning whether or not the pineapple method would be painful. Um, but don't I mean, obviously, the skin's like going to repair itself. Do you get the same exact fingerprint back? Like if you were to like burn like your thumb and then the skin, you know, heals itself. Uh, you know, I'm not actually come back sure. the same or what? I'm not actually sure. Interesting. Actually, his name was Pooh Face. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were still talking about the robber with the pineapple gloves. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, I oh wish. man, he must be foreign or something. That's a weird thing. <laughs> his name is Shifty. And then I looked at the screen and I was like, oh. <laughs> All right. Um, how many gym badges do we have? We have now? just one, but but today just one. today we plan on earning our second. Okay, this is the gym right here, correct? This is a gym right yes. here. Before okay. we head inside? Uh, yo, I would have never thought to walk in between those two trees. For that super potion, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. They should have put a more valuable item there. I, I thought it wasn't a TM, to be honest. So I mean, that would make more sense. I'm pretty it sure we're going like to throw... We're going to give Apom return once he gets a little stronger. So he'll definitely okay. he'll definitely hit hard. You know, once he um, actually likes you. It's a shame that he has pickup, but I have to give him the EXP share. Once he gets strong enough to uh, hold his own. What level is he right now? 13. And what level is like everybody else? Uh, this gym is around level 20s. Okay. I mean, Conky Dong is about to give everyone the swift dicking. What, uh, what type of gym is this that we have coming up? Does that answer your question? I didn't hear what you said. Does that answer your question? <laughs> what did you say before that? I, did, I said that. Conky Dong is going to give him the dicking? Was... Yeah. That, yeah. Donkey Kong. So, Conky Dong, rather. Is it like a... Is it a grass type? Yes, sir. Or a bug type? It is grass. Grass. Who's the leader? Is she cute? Uh, No, not particularly. I think it's... what Her, her name's Gardenia. Gardenia. She's, I mean, she's definitely not the worst. The worst be coming up later in the, coming up later in the game. But she's also not the best of this generation. I will say that. Not even close. Unfortunately, the best of this generation, I think, in my opinion, comes Jim 7. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm about to send you a snap, and you have to watch it right now. Really? I can't. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> All right, that's good. Let me send that your way. It is a video, but that's okay. You still need to watch it because it will be well worth. Oh my god, that took your forever. Right that... Oh my god, this is so stupid. What's wrong? This is just really dumb how long this takes. Alright, here we go. I kind of missed what you were doing because I was taking a snap for you. What is this the, inside the gym? Yes. Alrighty, watching the, watching the snap. Alright. Yep. Hoi, 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 hoi. Yeah, it's her. <laughs> I like it. So she's not, like I said, she's not bad, but, but definitely. She's not the best. She's not, not the best. Not the best of this generation. Let's be honest, she's no May. <laughs> You're damn right. Nobody ever. Really <laughs> Boots is level 14. Here we go. Hell yeah. Making moves. Bringing out that budu. Ooh, 
about to get clobbered. Call call this man the Incredible Hulk. Is this also a bug type as well? Is it dual? It is not. Actually, oh. it might be grass poison. Because I know that Rosalia oh, okay. is, but I'm not I'm not totally sure. But it evolves into Rosalia? Yes. Really? Yes. Huh. I don't know I if do you that. I don't know if you remember when I was when I was still in high school. I think it was high school. It was either that or it was the yeah, it had to be because that's when X and Y were out. Um, I remember doing a sh the shittiest play like Pokemon playthrough I could do. Do you remember? Do you remember yeah. this at all? And I used like Dunsparce uh, and Stunfisk. Yes, I do remember this. Okay. So I used Roselia in it. Not Roserade. I used Roselia. Roselia. Yes, because I needed. Because I. Well, it was the team was Dunsparce, Stunfisk, Roselia. Vespa Queen, and then two uh, two other shit stains, neither of which I remember. <laughs> was it a uh, a tough playthrough? Um, it wasn't as tough as you might think until I hit the Elite Four, because my Pokemon were about where they should have been leveled, maybe a little higher, but the, one of the gym leaders has a Gyarados, Ooh. and my whole team. Was just getting destroyed by it. I had to go in with uh, Dunsparce because it had um, it had like Dragon Dance, so it would just set up on me and destroy me. So I'd use Dunsparce with Coil or Defense Curl or something like that, and then pray that Rollout. I don't think Dunsparce gets a good move like Coil. No, it does because it's a snake. It's a slippery oh, I guess snake. That's true. All right, so do we teach a Apom Tickle? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, it lowers attack and defense instead of just okay. defense. Did you take away Baton Pass? I did not. I took away Tail Whip. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, Tail Good Whip only call. does one of those two. You right. Know, just logically. Smart. Very genius. Oh, I paused it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no dicks how's that how did that happen hold on <laughs> we're gonna have to go back through all of that yep here do you just want to restart the episode now <laughs> <laughs> i mean if you want to no we've already no this is what we'll, we'll just we'll just do it again we'll just take it in stride we'll just do it again how um, many of the people did you beat almost all There's of like them. Two of them almost all of them unfortunately uh -oh. Well, I mean, this yes. is the worst part, going from here to the to the city. Damn. I didn't. I didn't watch this part last time. <laughs> yeah, then I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother this time. All right, cool. I'll just I'll... scroll through Instagram and see if there's anything fun on here. Yeah, do that. I'm about to buy hella repels though. See, here's the thing. Here's my problem with repels: is like if you don't battle wild Pokemon. Then like, how do you level up? You know, you you just fight trainers. I say as I'm dodging every that, trainer I can. <laughs> is that like really enough though? Because like yes. I don't know. Well, it surprised me. Like I've seen, I've seen like playthroughs and they just like constantly have repels going, but then like they're still like somehow like adequate levels. So it just doesn't make sense. In my me. in my opinion, all games before Gen six, you do need to fight wild Pokemon. Uh -huh. Because X, so XY made it so that your EXP share gives every Pokemon in your team for everybody. half the experience right. of the battle. And it's broken. Right. And that's why, like, whenever whenever I do those playthroughs, I literally avoid all the Pokemon I can and only fight trainers. Yeah. Because there's no Makes reason. Sense because, like, if you don't need to fight them, why would you? Exactly. There's no reason to waste my time right. with with, like with taking on random wild Pokemon and like having the chance Especially of getting when hurt. they're like garbage that you're not going to catch anyway. Exactly. Cause I, let's be honest. I know what Pokemon I want and it's Doduo and I know where to get Doduo. Right. So that's, that's why I'll just get Doduo. I don't think you said that. 
I'm sorry? Is Doduo going to be part of this team? No. I don't think Doduo is, Doduo is in this game. Is Doduo going to be part of this team? I don't think Doduo is in this game. Oh. If it were in the mind. game, you already know it would be on the team already. Are you that big of a fan of it? I love Dodrio. Do really? It's, it's fast and strong. It's it's, it's deceptively strong. And especially it's got, like, with like. Drill too, right? Yeah, as coverage. Yeah. I remember my first playthrough of XY, I used Dodrio. I think my. I used a really shitty small team. It was like. Oh, God, no, never mind. I don't know who it was. I know it was Dodrio and like Greninja. Do I still have your copy of X and Y? You have Y because. Uh, Brittany was supposed to give you a DS to play it on. She did. And you never um, played it. I don't know where it is. Proud of you. I don't know where your cartridge is, and I also don't know where that uh, DS is. You goober. So I kind of suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> you more than kind of suck. <laughs> I'm not too bothered. I'm pretty much the worst. I'm not too bothered by it. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry, everyone that sat through all this shit already. <laughs> We're Sorry, garbage. Future Adam. We're <laughs> yeah, Future Adam and my friend Zach. We're the only two people who watch. I actually am pretty behind on watching your YouTube videos. Not gonna lie. God, it's like, you're the worst fucking friend, dude. <laughs> I... Wow. <laughs> That's rude. Let me let me go in my subscriptions here and look at how many I've missed so far. Probably just the last two, I'd wager. Um I I would hope. <laughs> I watched <laughs> the very first episode. Let's see. I have watched ten minutes of the forty six. Oh my god. And I have not watched any of two, three, or four. Wow. I haven't even looked wow. at the titles of them, I'm going to be honest. Wow. Birth of Pineapple Pizza Garbage. Yep. Never forget. Meatloaf in the Underground. I love it. It's a great name for a band. <laughs> well, Meatloaf was already a musician. I know. So it's got to be like... I feel like it's got to be something other than Meatloaf. That has the same kind of allure, you know? Um... Well... Let's think of something. If we were to start a band again right now, uh -huh. what would our band name be? Um, I don't know. You can't spring that on me. I mean, you spring stuff on me in these playthroughs all the time. It's because it's my channel, you I clown. I think this is fair. <laughs> well, no, because the difference between the name of an APOM and the name of our band is that the name of our band kind of matters. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's a yeah, fictional it band that's never going to happen. Wow. Bro, I, pause I pause it again. I pause it again. I'm about to ruin it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what button. I don't want to see this for a third time. I... <laughs> if we do, I'm just going to shut it down and then like just start the recording again when I get where I need to go. <laughs> Honestly. Why don't, you just, uh... Why don't you just throw up a save state every once in a while? Because I don't know what that's button is save about state. Emulators. Because I don't know what button what? the save state is. Oh my god. But you're right, I should do that so that I don't fucking delete everything every single time I exactly. accidentally misclick. I need to just remap some buttons. Oh my god, can you run into the building? Please? Why don't you just move your mouse off of the pause button? Because it's not my mouse that's doing it. The P button pauses. Oh. I think the N button pauses. Oh shit. Kranidos is in the lead. Whoops. Uh oh. That's fine. Kranidos will just beat the Badoo to a pulp. My bad, the Cherubi. <laughs> to cherry juice. <laughs> what does uh, Gurjimini have for his moveset so far? It's pretty shit, to be honest. Yeah, Takedown and Rock Tomb are like the only worthy... And that happens. Pursuit won't be that good, because <laughs> computers like never switch out their Pokemon. Exactly. So. Which is why the second I can change that to Surf, the better. Oh god, are we gonna have a mixed no, Kranidos? No, 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 no. Okay. No, we aren't. Just surf on it? No. Maybe. Depends on if we got a surfer. <laughs> are I guess we planning on getting a water type? Probably Bidoof. Oh, that's right. I'll get Bidoof to 15 and then he'll just like swim us everywhere. Hell yeah. I love Bidoof. I know you do. 
We it's been it's been let known in I think every episode now. Probably. Because I've been saying since episode one you should have it on your team. And you've been telling me no, and then finally you're like, oh, maybe I'll use it for my surfer. I've I, to be fair, I said that I might I'd probably use it as an HM slave early on. I just didn't feel like catching it yet. Yeah, well, why not? Because you could have that bitch leveled up to like twenty five by now. Because I'm leveling it up to fifteen when it evolves. This is why this is stupid. I'm using the speed up button right now. And it's going this slow. No, because because this is how long it takes. Because that Why fucking leaf, so long? that leaf has to go all the way the fuck around. That's dumb. This is a dumb gym. That's what I'm saying. Why can't you just walk through the fucking flowers, like? Because I'm a pussy. We're we're an 11 year old Pokemon badass. Why do we adhere to rules like, oh, let me walk on the fucking clock instead of just through the flowers? Because we're you know? because we we care enough about Gardenia. We want to. Because we're trash. You want to give her that hyper kill. Because we want to be the one buying the finger ass, not us. Exactly. Sore. Exactly. That was a bold <laughs> but That's fine. Oh, my bad. I mean, you know what? Leave me alone, okay? Alright. <laughs> if anybody wants to know what we're talking about, just Google Pokemon Gardenia. And it's like the fourth picture on there. It's beautiful. You're, I might actually just watch it. Post you're welcome, everyone. Boots is back to level 14. What's that? Boots is back to level 14. Hell yeah. You could have been at like 17 by now if someone reset their game. It was my bad. I thought... So my, my thought process was P is the pause button, but it would also make sense that it's the unpause button. You know? It's not. It's not. It, it's my load state. <laughs> Which is some bullshit, am I right? That's kind why I'm, I'm not picking my my fingers off of JKL semicolon for the rest of the episode. There you go. Because God forbid, I'd probably punch a hole through my computer screen. <laughs> the fuck is this? Well, that's... Oh my god. I'm not really a big fan of Gardenia, to be honest with you. I got it. I get it. Not really liking her short hair. See, I agree. I agree. But she's she's probably like... Well, I'm trying to think of who... There's only like four female gym leaders in this game. Yeah. One of them looks like a guy. <laughs> I'm not about... Her name is Fantina. She's the next gym leader, if you want to look her up. F-A-N-T-I-N-A. Oh, Give me one second here. Yeah, you do your thing. You do your thing. Fantina. She doesn't look like a guy. I've, I, was, I always was confused whether it was a guy or a girl. For, With the for like hair? For like 10 years of my life since the game has been out. I was always She wears a unsure. dress, dude. Yeah, it could be a guy in a dress. No. You've never worn a dress? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you positive that I've never worn a dress? <laughs> or do you have proof that I have? I don't have proof, but I can only uh, I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> um do you want to look at the other two? Female gym leader? Yes. Um, the next one is yes. Maylene. M-A-Y-L-E-N-E. -E. She's, she, she's like too young. She looks too young. Oh, we've talked about this before. Have we? Oh, yeah. She looks like she's like seven. Yep. The and then... over top of her nose. Oh, uh, it's like tape. To like open up your Why? air passage. Because she's like a, like a kung fu fighter. She's a fighting type gym leader. That's weird. Okay, who's the last one? Candace. She is, in my opinion, the best of this generation. Definitely. Tanner's mom? Yeah. Yeah, Tanner's mom. Oh, she's mom. pretty cute. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's got, like, the ponytail braid kind of things going on. I'm a fan. That's what I'm... Yep, exactly. And she's an ice-type trainer, so I'm about that, too. She's got that Obama snow. 
Here we go, baby. Gardenia. All right, let's Time to this. give her the yuck. Does she have a... No, she doesn't have a Bulbasaur. That's not the right game. No, she does have the grass starter, though, of this generation. Oh, that's weird for a gym leader. Turtwig. Well, this game made it is the first one that was possible to find every Pokemon in the Pokedex without having to catch them all. Or, like, without catching them and trading. Like, you could actually collect, like, all of the... Sorry, you could see all of them in your Pokedex. Shit, did she Wait, just use even Reflect? Other starters? Even starters, even evolutions of starters. Everything. Huh. You could find... And where do you do that? Just, just trainers. Trainers have every oh. Pokemon. Well, how about Shit. that? That's kind of nice, at least. Shit. She set up a fucking reflect. That's fine. It'll go away. So I'm just going to use Scratch a couple times. I think it's one more turn. Oh. This fucking... There we go. Reflect wore off. There we go. It's time to win. I think so. I know she has a rose. The one that boosts your speed, is it? I'm sorry. Flame wheel isn't the one that boosts your speed, is it? And that's flame charge. We went over this last oh. episode. Did we? I always get these confused. <laughs> I'm the worst. No, you're pretty good. Nah, that's debatable. Cherum. Fuck this Cherum. Use sunny day, bitch. Use it. I dare you. <laughs> Is this the one that changes forms yes, in like, the is. weather, or is that something else? It okay. is the one. That and cast form, I think, are the only two. Dude, th what the fuck? Quit critting me. It's a good thing I just picked up that super potion. That super <laughs> pot ion. It's time. Time but to is get... Is it too easy to just run through this gym with Conky Dong? It's too easy with Conky Dong. Conky Dong is out here giving him the yuck. Give him the what? The yuck. I'm sorry, one more time for me? The uh, yuck? Can you spell that for me? H-Y-U-C-K. Okay, cool. Are you like, goofy or something like yes. that? Yes, yeah, that's what the or that, that's okay. the origin of that thing. <laughs> All right, Since really... you were just at uh, Disney World not that long ago. Yes. To be fair, <laughs> goofy has become a meme in my house and my workplace. Because... Why? Just because. It's not the end yet. It's not the end yet. It's Sorry. about to be. It's about to be on her end. I mean, it's going to be two at KO, right? Yeah. I hope this is a citrus. There you go. Now she I won't. hope it crits you. Yeah. No, you. Now you hope I get parrot Plus six four. times. Oh. What's that? Now you hope I get parrot six times. Exactly. And We're then I'll... Doing magically like earthquake or something like that and just like bodies do it. Hydro cannon? Yes. Good. Easy. Uses one of those one hit KO moves that just hits every single time. Exactly. Easy Ooh. game. Let's go. Level 16. There Give him the yuck. Give him the And that's, that's the uh, gym, right? That's the whole gym. Wow. Adam, I'm about to send you a meme on Insta. Okay. On Instagram. On oh, Instagram. interesting. Sack. Oh. Hold on one second, people. Potatoes. Hopefully I sent that to just you. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Yeah, we laugh at that where I'm from. And by where I'm from, I mean here. I like the caption. Give me some good book recommendations. Anything except romance. <laughs> Not related at all to the fact that Goofy's about to beat some child with a belt. Exactly. Because it's Goofy time, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Quit doing this. Okay. Thank Wait, god. This person that has 17,000 likes. I'm sorry, 19,000 likes. That's my kind of meme right there. Alright, people. We did it. We beat Gardenia. Thanks for joining us today. Adam, you have any any final words? 
that was a short episode, I feel like. Well, I have like 15 minutes of stuff to put before it, of me like getting oh, okay. Kranidos and doing all that. Okay, all right. Um, no, I don't have anything. Again, you put me on the spot. I wasn't prepared for the end of the episode yet. Um, yeah, I got nothing. You're gonna have to end this one. Eat your vegetables.